Before I reveal the final desk setup, let's go through the whole process because this whole thing took me a while to put together. It is so gloomy in Toronto this week, but I'm gonna try and build my new desk setup since I have the week off for the holidays. I got a new standing desk, which is really big and a lot larger than this one, which was like my biggest complaint with this current standing desk. Like it does the job well, but I feel like I don't really like to use it that much because it's not big enough and there's no presets on it. So I have to manually adjust it up and down every time I wanna move it. I have the new desk in my living room, but it's like really massive. So I'm gonna have to first take apart this desk and everything on it, as well as this desk, which the camera is on. And that'll probably take like the whole day itself. There's like a lot of stuff to move basically. I think I'm scared of all the signs. Don't ever leave me alone at night. I think I'm scared. I don't know why. Just leave the lights on. I'm scared, I have no time I scream out loud just to see if I'm alive I think I'm scared, I don't know why So leave the lights on, stay inside Because I'm Alright, so the desk setup is finally complete and that took way longer than I expected because I didn't have time to work on it during the work week, but here it is. So as I mentioned, the centerpiece of my desk setup is this 72 inch Achiever desk from Bureautic. Bureautic is a high-end office furniture company based in Montreal, Canada. They sent me this desk along with a bunch of accessories that we'll go over later and I went for the walnut tabletop in the largest size and I love how it turned out. Their desktops are made out of solid wood and everything is handcrafted locally here in Canada, so everything looks and feels extremely premium. And you can feel the difference between this and a cheaper standing desk too. This one feels really solid and heavy and I like how the control panel here lets you set up to four presets for different heights. So I usually have the first one set to my regular sitting height when I'm typing and then a slightly higher height for sitting while I'm writing on my iPad and then two more different standing heights for typing or writing. The frame is also really solid and well built. It doesn't shake at all even with everything I've put on it at its highest standing height. And the motors are also really quiet which has made me more likely to want to switch up my posture as I'm working throughout the day. So if you're looking for a high quality standing desk that'll probably last you forever, I recommend checking out Bureautic and you can use my code Aaron50 for $50 off of your purchase. Oh and all of their desks come with a 10 year warranty which is insane as well as a 100 day free trial so you have nothing to lose if you don't love your desk. Another thing that's helped me stand a lot more on my desk is this anti-fatigue standing mat that Bureautic also sent me. I have hardwood floors in my bedroom and I realized that I never really liked standing at my old desk because it would hurt to stand on such a hard surface for more than like 15 minutes. All right, moving back up to the top of my desk, the main thing here is my 34 inch Dell monitor. I don't know the specific model, but it's a 1440 or a 2K panel and it gets up to 144 hertz, so it's good for productivity and work, as well as the occasional gaming. Not much to say about this monitor though, I've had it since last year, and the ultra wide size makes it really great for having multiple windows open. I usually don't need more than one screen open at a time though, so it's nice to have an ultra wide where I can have a main window open, and then something like Spotify or Discord open on the side. I lowkey want an even wider monitor because they look pretty cool, but probably don't need one right now. Oh, and I have this monitor on a monitor arm that I picked up from Amazon. Definitely recommend getting a monitor arm so you can change the height and tilt of the monitor for different purposes, especially because the angles sort of change when you're going from sitting to standing. Underneath my monitor, I have a desk shelf here from Grovemade, also in a walnut finish. Grovemade is another brand that makes really high quality home office accessories. Everything is handmade in the United States and they did send me a few accessories here, but I probably would have gone out and bought them regardless. I also have this separate desk tray also from Grovemade, which fits perfectly and gives me a space to organize all of my pens and other random things while keeping it easily accessible. And then on top of the shelf I have my dual speaker setup as well as these cute little decorations. 
My speakers are the Audio Engine A2 Pluses on top of the speaker stands. I mainly got them for how they look, but I also don't like wearing headphones all day because it kind of hurts my ears after wearing them for a couple of hours. I'm not a huge audiophile, but these are good enough for listening to music, editing videos, and occasionally watching some Netflix, so that's all I really need. Powering this entire setup is my Surface Laptop Studio, and this thing is an absolute beast. I made a short about unboxing this laptop, but it's basically like a full-on workstation. So I've decided to replace my desktop PC with this laptop, so I don't have to switch between two devices all the time now. I basically use this laptop and the docking station to power everything here. And I went all out on the specs, so it has 32 gigs of RAM and like two terabytes of storage, so it can really handle everything I need to do for work as well as gaming. All right, finally moving on to the center area of the desk. I'm using Grovemeyer's wool felt desk mat to protect the desk and rest my keyboard on. It looks a bit small for the size of this desk, but I had it from my old desk, and I also use a separate mouse pad for gaming, so I couldn't get one that fit the entire size of the desk. My mouse pad of choice is the BenQ Zowie, and it's made for gaming, so no complaints there. Okay, now onto my current keyboard. I'm no longer using the RK84 keyboard that I built in a previous video, but this is the Niz Micro 82. NIS keyboards use these electro capacitive switches, which technically aren't mechanical switches, but they just feel so good and they're way lighter to type on. So if you're not just like gaming all the time and you actually need to type a lot of things for work, you should definitely check it out because I'm typing a lot faster and my fingers don't feel nearly as fatigued after typing for a long time on this keyboard. I'll give you guys a quick sound test, but again, this keyboard is fully stock and I'm pretty happy with it. I mainly like it for how it feels over how it sounds. And right beside that, I have my mouse of choice, the Logitech G Pro Super Light, of course, with these mouse grip stickers that I picked up from AliExpress to help me grip the mouse a little bit better because I have bigger hands. Yeah, this is probably the best gaming mouse I've ever had. There's not much to say about it. It's expensive, but it's super light. It's wireless and one charge lasts for like two weeks. So for my mic, I'm using this mic that I picked up from Mauno. I picked up the entire set from Amazon for like $90 last year, and I really only use it for work calls or talking in games, so I haven't felt the need to upgrade or anything. Finally, just some accessories I have lying around the desk. I have these Sony XM3 headphones. They're a bit outdated, but they work fine and the sound quality is great. I just don't use them that much anymore unless I'm gaming because I got these new speakers. I also have these two really cute succulents planted in these wooden planters from Grovemade. Just look at how nice they look. And last but not least, my chair for this setup is the Steelcase Think Chair. I got this maybe a year or two ago from an office closing sale, so it was pretty discounted, but I honestly love it so much and it's held up really well. I think getting a high quality chair is one of the best investments you can make for your desk and your back, especially if you're in a job where you sit a lot like myself. But yeah, that's about it for this desk setup. I've been enjoying it a lot since I've had it set up for the past week or so, and I don't see myself changing it anytime soon, but there are a few smaller changes that I'd like to make, like adding LED lights behind the monitor and other small aesthetic changes. Thanks again to Bureautic though for sending over this desk and making this whole setup possible. If you're interested in any of their products, be sure to check out their website using the link in the description below. And again, use my code Aaron50 to save $50. Let me know in the comments what you guys would add or change to this setup. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. I think I'm scared of all the signs.